Heroes and villains always have the same backstory. In the grand chessboard of life, the pawn is often overlooked. Much like a villain in a story, it starts from a place of seeming insignificance. It's not as flashy as the queen or as revered as the king. It's not as swift as the bishop, as unpredictable as the knight, or as sturdy as the rook. Just a pawn, one of many, dispensable and often sacrificed. But what many fail to see is the potential that lies within this humble piece. It stands at the front lines, bearing the brunt of the battle, much like a villain who often has a past filled with struggle and hardship. It moves forward, one square at a time, braving the dangers that lie ahead. It fights, it survives, it endures. And as it reaches the end of its journey, it transforms from a lowly pawn to a queen, the most powerful piece on the board. This transformation is a testament to its resilience. It's no longer the weak piece that was easily sacrificed. It's now a force to be reckoned with. Much like our villains, they too often come from places of struggle. They too have fought battles and endured hardships. And in their quest to overcome these adversities, they've become powerful. They want to rule the world. Not because they are inherently evil, but because they've experienced what it's like to have no power, to be treated as insignificant. And in their pursuit of power, they may lose sight of what's right. So, in the end, our pawn and our villain aren't all that different. They both start from a place of insignificance, fight their battles, and aim to become more powerful. But the choices they make in their pursuit of power is what ultimately defines whether they are heroes or villains. It's a testament to the fact that everyone has the potential for greatness, but it's our actions that define us.